So anyway, welcome to this episode of Totally Unscripted. Um, today we've got um, uh, some bits and pieces to look at. So um, we'll start with some news and updates. And then uh, for this show, we're going to look at the new uh, Google Apps Script manifest files. Um, so this is a way to, that you can control your projects. Um, so we'll have a look at those in a second. So we'll start off with um, some bits and pieces uh, to come out. So in terms of news, I think the biggest piece of news to come out uh, since our last show is that um, Gmail add-ons, um, which are powered by Google Apps Script, they're now um, out of preview and anyone can uh, start developing code for those. Um, so there's documentation uh, available on, on the website. Um, I think Google being very selective about which add-ons get published. Um, so um, there may be a delay if you are keen to um, do something. Um, there might be a longer wait than you would have for um, uh, publishing add-ons and getting those through review. Uh, release notes. So um, add-ons is part of the release notes. Uh, related to that is card service, which is part of Gmail add-ons. And um, in the past, we've speculated whether or not this type of um, UI design is going to be rolled up out across other add-ons for sheets, docs, forms, and slides. Um, nothing has been said of that. So, and I think uh, the existing HTML service um, will certainly be around for quite a while yet, if not forever. Um, Manifest, so we're going to talk about that later. Roll-off scopes, which is related uh, to Manifest for game, we'll talk about. Um, deploying scripts, again, this is related uh, in part to Manifests. Uh, and there's um, been some updates as well to the, um, the script editor. Um, so in terms of what, what's going on in the community, well, uh, the first one actually comes from Alan, too, and it's related to this. So. It's the additions that we've got in the, in the script editor. So uh, in terms of how add-ons are tested, um, showing the manifest and deploying from the manifest. Um, so um, interesting to see that, you know, the, the editor is in uh, continual development. Um, so some new add-ons for education from uh, Steve Webster highlighted these. Um, so um, there's a, a, the link there, and we'll share the slide so you can um, check those out. Um, Eric Kalida, who's part of the Google Developer Relations team, um, he highlighted a, a new add-on from uh, Anna Agra, um, so uh, which is a, another one of these merge type um, add-ons. Um, so it looks quite nice. It's um, a bit like yet another mail merge, but uh, more document focused. So, uh, but it does have an email option. So it might be something you look at as an alternative to yet another mail merge. Um, so, uh, Kanchi um, has um, updated uh, GGS run. This is a, a command line interface. So a couple of command line interfaces now. I've seen published. So this allows you to um, um, write and deploy um, code um, from the script editor. So um, from uh, sorry, from a, a command line. So um, Kanchi's updated his command line tool to include the manifest files, which we'll talk about in a second. Um, Kanchi is probably uh, one of my favorite GitHub um, users to follow right now in terms of the amount of stuff that he's developing. And um, we'll pick up some of that at the end of this year as well. Um, so the next one is quite a big one. So there was, it's been quite hard to piece this together. There was some changes pushed by Google, which included a, a new scope for a script container UI. Uh, and this has created quite a few headaches for different people in terms of add-on developers, add-on users, uh, even um, people publishing scripts that are container-bound. So 
there was a security, an unspecified security issue, which Google had to patch quickly, related in some way to the UI. Um, so uh, modal dialogue sidebars. Uh, so some changes that Steve spotted in terms of the review process. Um, so uh, originally, uh, Google said that um, existing add-ons didn't need to go through the verification process, and now they've notified developers that they need to do that before um, the end of December. Um, there was also um, something Steve highlighted in terms of if you republish an add-on, um, there's a chance it, it doesn't get automatically approved. So previously, when you pushed up um, that update, hit your users, but um, uh, there might there is a chance that Google will do a manual review of your code if you if you do an update. Um, so uh, something to be aware of. Um, so Barry Roberts has been doing a, a tutorial series for AppScript. So if you've got friends or colleagues that uh, you think should be starting app scripting and perhaps they need a starting point. Um, Barry Roberts has got a, a series. Uh, so he, I think it's actually up to number 16 now in terms of uh, tutorials. So um, nice resource for the community to have. Um, I mentioned Kanchi. So another, um, uh, well, I think this is, I don't think he's published it as an add-on, but you can check it out from the post. So this just allows you to rearrange the, the script order. So in the script editor, um, so um, the options currently are to sort it alphabetically or in the order that you created your scripts. So this is a, a nice little UI that allows you to re rearrange it. I think the feedback Kanchi got is to uh, publish this as a um, a web app uh, in the Chrome extensions store. Um, so you, you may do that. Um, something not directly um, app script related, but there's quite a few people I know that use the Atom um, text slash code editor for development. So um, a nice update. This is a, um, a, a desktop application. So it works on Mac, Linux, and Windows. So unfortunately, if you've got a Chromebook, it, it won't work with that unless you're VMing. Um, you've got a VM that you're running somewhere. Um, but uh, they've announced that they've got a real-time collaboration uh, add-on to that now. Um, the nice thing about it is it's a peer-to-peer -peer encrypted in, uh, connection, so it's not running via server. Um, so um, I haven't looked in detail about how many people can simultaneously edit. Um, but it looks like a nice add-on. Um, because it's um, an offline editor, you're not going to get the app script all complete. Um, but I know a lot of people um, do a lot of offline script editing anyway. So it might be uh, something that you're interested in looking at.